In this video, I want to look at an example of induction that has an inequality in it. Indeed, we're trying to show that 2 to the power of n is bigger than n for all values of n greater than or equal to 0. By the way, there's many different techniques to do this. You can do this using calculus, but in this video, we're going to do it via induction. Now, induction has a couple different steps. The analogy I always use is climbing a ladder. We have to be able to get onto the first rung of a ladder, a, a basis step, and then we have to know that if we're on the kth rung of the ladder, that we can climb to the k plus one rung of the ladder. And if both of those two things are true, then we're able to climb our ladder. So first up, this is going to be the basis step. And the basis step is, in most examples, a little bit easy. You just plug in whatever your sort of starting point is and see that it's clearly true. So we're claiming that this is true for all n greater than zero. So let's try plugging in n equal to zero and see what we get. Indeed, two to the power of zero, uh, that's just one, two to any value to the power of zero is one. And then the claim is, is this greater than just plugging in n equal to zero? Well, one is indeed zero, so the basis here is true. All right, so that's lovely. I'm definitely glad about that, but let us continue. After we've done our basis step, what we next need to do is our induction hypothesis. This is assuming it's true at the kth level, and then we're going to show that it's true at the k plus one level. So I am going to use my induction hypothesis. And what I'm doing is effectively just putting this formula in, but for the particular value, k. So I, in other words, I am going to assume that 2 to the power of k is going to be greater than k. And uh, this is going to work for some value of k, which is greater than or equal to 0. I don't know what value it is, but some value. All right, so that's what I'm going to assume. That's what I'm allowed to use. But now I want to do the all-important induction step. Now, the way that this works is that I want to show something true at the k plus 1th level. As in, what I want to do is I want to begin, and I want to look at 2 to the power of k plus 1, and I want to do a bunch of work here. I might have to do a whole bunch of tricky manipulations, but what I eventually want to get is that this 2 to the k plus 1 is going to be greater than k plus 1. And if that's the case, I've shown that this is true of the k plus 1th wrong, that the 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1. Okay, so how do I connect these dots? That's this is where I'm hoping to go. I'm hoping to get down here, but all I'm beginning with is this left-hand side, the 2 to the k plus 1. The first sort of algebraic trick that sticks out to me here is that this can be thought of as 2 multiplied by 2 to the power just of k. Indeed, this is one of our exponential rules that a to the b times a to the c is a to the b plus c. Now, part of the reason why I did this is that what I'm really interested in is identifying this 2 to the power of k because I know something about 2 to the power of k. That's something that we can use our assumption. So I can say 2 to the k is greater than k, so this is going to be greater the first 2 comes along for the ride, and then it's multiplied by k. Now, remember, we're trying to get this, say that this is bigger than k plus 1. We're, we're wanting to show that 2k is bigger than k plus 1 might seem obvious this is the case, but I want to be completely sure of this, okay? So first of all, 2k, this is going to be thought of as just k plus k. Now, remember our goal is to say that this 2k, 2 to the power of k plus 1 is bigger than k plus 1. Currently, I've got it bigger than k plus k, but k is, in general, going to be bigger than 1. Indeed, this is going to be bigger than k plus 1, any time that we have k being something which is greater than 1. Now, this gives me a sort of interesting point. As in, if you look at my induction hypothesis, I assumed it was 2 to the k was greater than k for k greater than 0. Notice how I put that k greater than 0 there. But I then 
thought that was reasonable at the time, but I've carried on this computation. As I've carried on this computation, I realized that what I'm really interested in is it being k greater than 1. So that's okay. I, I can deal with the k equal to 0, and in fact, I can deal with the k equal to 1 case individually. I'm going to take my induction hypothesis, this was a reasonable guess, and intend instead make it the k greater than 1 that we need. And in this case, then our methodology works. So what we're effectively saying is that we can get from the k step to the k plus 1 step by this little bit of trickery as long as we are bigger than the value of 1. So we've discovered the slight is symmetry in the indexing, but if we want to, we can come all the way back to our original basis here, and we can just add in a few extra ones. We can also note that, for example, 2 to the 1 is greater than 1. That's for sure true. We can note that 2 to the 2, which is 4, is greater than 2. That's for sure true. So we can do those low value of k cases until such time as we get being bigger than the value of 1. So I believe we have now proven it. By mathematical induction, we established these basis cases, these initial ones. We've assumed it's true at the kth level, and we've proven it's true at the k plus 1th level. We've proven that 2 to the k plus 1 is indeed bigger than k plus 1. And along this route, we had to deal with this little messy detail of the index where it started, but the big structure is the same, and it's the same for every one of these different induction problems.